Hey, dude. Good morning. Welcome to the cave. It's uh, it's a good morning. You know, I had to give the kid a little extra vitamins, cause uh, and uh, give him some silver, dude, which is good for your immune system. It kicks your immune system into gear. I'm not giving him some ridiculous concoction, dude, that, you know, is going to do something like give him the big C, you know, like my pops, give him the, give him the big C that the medical industry loves oh, ever so much, dude, because they want you on the hook, they want you, they want you on the hook, dude, chase the carrot, you know, we don't, we don't want you to get well, we want you locked in a perpetual cycle, um, now, nah, you know what, I, I realize that, you know, doing things for your immune system or what keep people healthy, dude, you know, along with right state of mind, you know, good diet, exercise, all those things, you know, and uh, I'm going to try and make some steps to do better, you know, to tighten up, and uh, I got a punching bag, I started trying to go walking with my kid, and to start doing push-ups again, and to get a mountain bike, you know, there's things that I love that I enjoy, and if you get the blood flowing, you feel good. It's like endorphins, dude. Just, just as good, if not better, than drugs. You know, drugs is an easy fix. Exercise is something that comes naturally that makes you feel good. Dude. But uh, I want to say, dude, when I got divorced and I started, you know, scrolling online and trying to find out, you know, why why my ex-wife would abandon everything that she values, you know, for her addiction, uh, why, why I did everything right, and I still got left alone to raise my kid by myself, you know, seeing her, you know, get the gastric sleeve surgery, go on, go live on the street, and proceed to spiritually drive herself off the cliff, you know, I started looking at why, I started listening to Terrence Pop, Hammerhand, Rebel Against Defeat, um, Renegade Number One, uh, Sand, Sandman. Uh, I heard Spetsnaz a little bit. Um, you know, I heard grifters like Fresh and Fit, who they just want to put women down. You know, and I'm not interested in just bagging on people. Uh, you know, completely. You know, I want people to be aware of differences between male and female nature and understand how to navigate through this world I don't want to belittle people unless they did something to me personally they were because I have no interest in trying to be hateful they were because YouTube has a funny way of trying to I'm pretty sure I'm shadow banned because of the things I've said um, but YouTube has a funny way of suppressing the truth you know they're the biggest platform and all the world, but they suppress free speech, which is really socialist and communist and all of the above. Dude. But I want to say, you know, I understand the concept of, you know, the cat who wants what it can't have, and as soon as you give it attention, it runs away, you know, and then the male nature, like a dog, loyal, willing to protect, you know, protect the fort, protect the yard protect the young, you know, I, I get that concept, it, but it's just realizing that, dude, if you're brought up to be empathetic and you care about people, whether it's male or female, you can't just automatically just turn off, you know, that way of being, you know, if that's how you're brought up, you know, you can't turn into a bad boy if you're not a bad boy. You know, if you're, if you care about people, you're not going to just be like, oh, whatever, you know, they can kick rocks, you know, but what you can do is be a little bit smarter when it comes to your vetting, you know, when it comes to the choices that you, you make, you know, realize what has a return on investment and what doesn't, you know, and realize that when it comes to females that I have no out. I, I I have no outcome. I don't care what happens. You know, either you like me or you don't. I'm not trying to play games. I'm not trying to play games. You know, uh, you know, because I come with a lot of baggage, man. You know, I got a son who 
basically is growing up without a mother. You know, he's got a grandmother who loves him very much, but he does not have a mother. So he's 100% brought up in, in male nature. He does not really have a lot of feminine influence. I mean, I got friends, I got friends who, who, uh, you know, females that are positive and are good for him that have motherly traits because they have children of their own. You know, because, dude, it's not cool to be a hoe. It's cool to be a good mother, to be nurturing. You know, that's what men want. Good mothers. And, you know, that ridiculous Sodom and Gomorrah type aspect of, uh, you know, oh, you know, just do whoever you want. Just engage in whatever you want. That's all BS, dude. You know, there's a reason why traditional values have held on for as long as they have. So, yeah, I'm, I want to enjoy myself. I want to interact with people. If you want to talk to me, I'll talk to you. It doesn't matter. And, and whether we agree politically, whether we're the same sex, whether we're the same age, dude, I'm, I'm an open book and an open heart. Dude, I've been through the ringer, so I appreciate, you know, little things that some people don't. So I have to keep the uh, positive uh, state of mind there, dude. It's uh, the only real way to be. You know, negative things happen, but I can always do better. So, push a little harder, uh, meditate, pray a little harder, and try to not live in your emotions as much and be, uh, be, uh, you know, make people appreciate your presence, you know, so they miss you when you're gone. Because uh, he, everyone's an, an individual, and you gotta play to your strengths, not trying to be somebody else. Be the best you, not somebody else. I don't want to be some other content creator. I, I want to be freaking Slam Cave, dude. I want to be me. So take care. God bless.